Hello, this is Lisa Huning of The Shifting Path, and I'd like to welcome you to What I Wish I Knew. In this audio series, I am talking to people who have been or are in a caregiving role for their family member. My guest today is Belinda Castro, and she will be sharing with us her experiences in caring for her parents and what she knew about the ups and downs of the emotional day. Belinda, thank you, and I really appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. So please share with us what you wish you knew. Well, to begin with, I wish I knew what would cause this Alzheimer's, but I also wish I knew that the availability of the help for us and the support Being here in the Rio Grande Valley, we don't hear that very often. So when I logged on to Facebook and I saw this association, I was like, awesome. This is what I need, exactly what I needed. When we started with my dad being in his Alzheimer's, um, I never knew that my dad was going to get as violent as he was getting. People never told us what to expect. Um, My dad went from crying to hitting, to telling us that he was going to die, which is something you don't expect to hear from your parents. But being that my dad is in the late stages of Alzheimer's, we found this wonderful association called the Hospice Care, and they have been so awesome to us. They have given us the step-by-step knowledge of what's happening with my dad, what it's going to be happening with my dad. And once they provided that information for me, I thought that I've seen those stages in my dad. If I would have only known that this was going to be happening, how I could have helped him or reassure him that things were going to be better. Um, the not knowing part is what's very, very scary but know that deep down inside your family member is fighting to try to come back to you. Um, The only thing you can say to them is that you love them. You're there for them. Reassure them that everything's going to be okay. Um, Mind you, I am a very strong person. I have been through many trials and tribulations in my life. And this past year, caring for my dad has taught me to become a better person, to strive to be there for my parents, and to reassure my dad that it's okay. I take one incident where I was with my dad one time, just he and I in his bedroom, and he was crying, and he turned around and he looked at me and he said, I've been to heaven twice already. I know I'm going to die, and I'm dying already. That hit me so hard because I was not expecting that from my dad. I broke down emotionally, and I I could not continue with it. But I had to be the better person and the stronger person and say, it's okay, Dad. If you want to go, it's okay to go. I promise that I will take care of mom and I will take care of the family. If you want to go to heaven, then you go to heaven. I said, what can I do to make you comfortable? And he, you know, he extended his arms out to me just to give him that love and that support that he needed and to be held. People don't understand that Alzheimer's is an illness without a cure. And that not only is the person who has it suffering, but the family is suffering as well. And for us, we made the decision not to put my dad in a foster, in a, um, in a nursing home. We made the decision that as a family, we were going to take care of him and we were going to keep him home until the very end. But we're almost at that. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, you know what I love about what you've told me, Belinda, is that your family really has rallied together to give your mom and you and everyone the support that you need. Yes, they have. Our family has really bonded 
so well because we were falling apart. You know, we were arguing with each other and we weren't speaking to each other and, hey, that's your job, whatever. But this has brought us much, much closer. And I'm sorry to have been, to be breaking down, but my brother who shows no emotions now when we come, you know, when I come every day to take care of my dad, he comes up to me and he hugs me and he kisses me. And my brother was never that type of person. The bond that this Alzheimer's has created upon our family is wonderful. And I wish that people could actually say, you know what? I'm going to take care of my father or I'm going to take care of my family member who's ill. But unfortunately, nowadays, everybody has to work. You know, we have to work. Right. Um, it's very difficult on families. They get very torn in the many roles that they play. Right. You know, I, I was laid off of my job back in May, and I was very upset. I mean, I was upset. I was wanting to sue people and everything. And then I started seeing my dad going dr downhill drastically and drastically. In, in December, we put him in the hospital and stuff. And that's when I came to terms with my situation. God did it for a reason. And I never understood what that reason was. Well, when I put my dad in the hospital, I came to realize God did not want me to work as a school teacher so that I could stay home and care for my dad and provide the support for my mom. Had I been working, there would have been no support. There would be no support. And now I see it every day. I get to spend 10, 12 hours with my father and my mother, and we go through the ups and downs, and sometimes he makes me laugh, and sometimes he gets mad at me, and he cusses me out. But I have that in my body and in my heart that I got to spend the time with my dad. I didn't leave him alone. I get to see him every day, and I get to help him every day with whatever needs he needs. I am there for him, and I will be there until the day that God calls upon him, and then I will be able to, oh, it's, it's you know. Okay. Your family is incredible, Belinda. It's just amazing. So, it, I thank God for the family we have and the the unity that has become of us in this situation. You know, and, and right now my dad is not doing good. I mean, we're just we're waiting. We're waiting for God to take him, and the day He takes him, my dad will finally be at peace. And I will be very honored to say that I was able to take care of my father, and now I can move on and help my mother in her grieving process with the loss of her husband. It will be something that all of you will experience, but while you'll experience it as individuals, you're also very much going to experience it together because of the unity you've created in your family. Correct, correct. It's true. Thank so. you so much for sharing what you wish you knew. I know that it's very emotional and difficult to talk about these things, but I, it means a lot to me that you uh, were willing to talk to me about your experiences. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that.